Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday, uh, February 9th. Uh, it's great to be with you today. Hope you had a great Tuesday yesterday. Uh, we're looking at Mark chapter 4, uh, and you may want to begin to think about reading uh, Mark chapter 5, uh, getting prepared for this coming Sunday, asking yourselves, what is God saying to me here? and What am I going to do about it? Right? I already started thinking about it. And I hope that you've been able to uh, not only hear these devotions, but um, but but connect with some others with the small group uh, the uh, uh, materials that we put online for you and that we've given away on Sundays. Uh, even if that small group is just uh, your husband or your wife or your family, uh, and if it's a life group, awesome. Uh, as you look at chapter four, uh, and yet begin to think about reading chapter five uh, for this coming Sunday, we're we're going uh, to go through the book of Mark and and uh, doing life with Jesus, right? And seeing what that looks like and how Jesus wants to grow us and so forth. This week we're looking at this in these devotions. We're looking at chapter four. Uh, we really started this on Sunday, but uh, and and we've said, hey, at the end of this chapter is that account of Jesus calming the storm and showing his disciples they can have peace in the storm, and he's always there, right? And, and who he is and what that means for them. And I believe they put that there so that uh, looking back towards all the stories of the kingdom that Jesus told, uh, that uh, some of them are challenging and and some of them are fearful and and so forth. Um, sometimes people won't accept them and, and all those things. Uh, and and to 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 kind of through it all give them this piece of Jesus presence and that he will be with them uh, yesterday we um, we looked at this idea of it, it's worth it it's worth it to, to go all out throwing that seed even if three out of four our outcomes are, are not what we're looking for that fourth one is going to be amazing and not to be frightened of that of, of 30 60 a hundred fold you know some some Christians they um, they, they really struggle with that in a congregational setting, right? Oh my goodness, what if we get real big? Uh, amen, let's do it. And, and, and Because they don't trust the Spirit of God in the lives of others. Uh, and, and, uh, and if the Spirit of God has touched your heart, he certainly can touch somebody else. And if he's bringing fruit from you, he's going to bring fruit from somebody else. So, so uh, this idea of we don't have to be afraid of that, huh? because that's how the kingdom's supposed to work. Uh, today... Uh, I, I, Jesus is going to lay out a, a principle in the kingdom, uh, and and I, I guess the theme today would be to go for it, all right, just to go for it. All right, here, here it is. Uh, it goes like this. Um, so this is right after he tells the story about uh, the seed, right, the farmer and the seed and so forth. He says he said to them, do you bring a lamp, uh, I'm sorry, do you bring in a lamp to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? So yeah, you, you bring in a lamp, you, you, you cover it up, so no, it's it's made uh, to bring light into a room. I, that, that's, that's what he's saying here. Uh, instead, don't you put it on its stand, for whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out to the open. So in other words, it, it, this, this uh, lamp is supposed to shed light everywhere. huh? Uh, if anyone has ears to hear, uh, let him hear. In other words, understand this. That's what you're doing when you're throwing out the seed. You're bringing the light. Jesus is called the light of the world, right? Bringing the light into people's lives. This is what's supposed to happen. Uh, 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 let, let's don't live our lives, he's saying, as, as if we're a, a lamp that, that, that's got a curtain over it. That doesn't do any good. It's not what, how the kingdom is supposed to work. No, throw that curtain off. Let your light shine. huh? And then he says, he, he tells this, uh, this little uh, uh, example or principle here. He says, consider carefully what you hear. With the measure you use, it will be measured to you and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. So, so with the measure you use, it will be measured to you, and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. So what, what is Jesus, what's the principle here? Well, he's telling us uh, to, be, to be light, right? To, to, to throw off the curtains and, and to let our light shine. And, and the more we do this, right, uh, the more, uh, the, the, the more uh, uh, we'll, we'll produce and the more we'll grow. Uh, it, it's this, uh, we, some people read that and they say, well, this isn't right. And there's not, there's another parable that Jesus told the same thing in when he, he's giving, um, uh, he, he's giving gifts to his people to use for the kingdom. And, and, and one person just buried it, didn't use it at all. And he said, take that from him and give it to somebody else that's going to use it. See, and, and we see this principle in everyday life too, by the way, um, the, the person that is, um, that, that works real hard at school. Now, they may start it out that with, with whatever they had, right, with whatever abilities they had, but if they work real hard, uh, they're going to add to it and add to it and add to it. Or, or, or the person that is uh, that works really hard at athletics, you know, now they're going to have what they had to start with, but they're going to add to it and add to it and add to it. And the folks that 
that start at a certain place and don't, and don't do anything with it, they're not going to stay where they are. They're, they're, they're going to regress and regress and regress. We, we see that in normal life. And what Jesus is saying here, this is the way it works with your life in the kingdom. Let your light shine. Uh, uh, you know, share life. Create friendships. Uh, and that takes some work on to create those relationships uh, and, and, and bring and inspire hope in our community, in our world. Uh, uh, it, the, it all, ta it takes a faith that, that drives us forward, huh? And to receive that from God, the Holy Spirit. But the promise here is as you do this, you're going to grow. You're going to grow and you're going to grow. And you're, it's so funny. It's last Christmas. You know, I, I uh, in, in the community where the church is, uh, uh, this, the, the houses that are close, I spent like, a, I don't know, three or four Saturdays putting, putting cards out and talking to people. Uh, and um, every, every Christmas I go around my neighborhood and, and I take Starbucks cars and I talk to people and so forth. And I was amazed at how much more comfortable I was in taking those Starbucks cars around after I'd been to hundreds of homes and talking to people as I went in, in, in the community around here. Uh, you see, the more you, you do something, the better you are at it and the more comfortable you are. And, and, and we know this is true. This is not a, a, a thing where God is uh, punishing. And he's just, Jesus is just stating a principle. And he's telling us and encouraging us and, under, and, and so that we understand, let's step out and do what he calls us to do and we're going to grow by his grace and the kingdom will grow. We don't have to be afraid of that. Uh, will, will you pray with me? Uh, dearest Jesus, uh, we thank you that, that you give us this privilege of letting our light shine and bringing your kingdom into our world. Show us, Lord, and remind us that, um, that, that as we hear your word, as we... Uh, 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 receive your spirit and live by it and walk by faith and, and let our light shine. We're, we'll grow um, because that's just the way it works. We pray that we might grasp onto this promise and, and, uh, and live boldly as we live our lives in you, uh, in, in your kingdom work. We pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yet may God be with you. Bye-bye.